Revely, Revely. All hands heave out. Revely. All right, so now Come we're going to pick up, pick the vegetables. And I'm using this Lowe's brand bucket. new Lowe's bucket. And we're going to fill it up because the small containers that I have are too small. So let's. I need a bucket because we have so many. All right. You guys can come in. So this is a pigeon piece, Debbie. This is the, uh, the Peruvian corn. This is purple Peruvian corn. Oh. And the herb garden. And we have a ton of peppers here. But today what we're going to harvest is the winter squash. The butternut squash and the acorn. And look, the uh, tomato, the tomato plants are kind of like out of control here. <laughs> However, these are the best tomatoes ever. Yeah. I'm not a tomato person, yeah. but these I can eat, you know, it, they're good. They're, they're called sun sugar. They're excellent. Eat it. So, of course, yeah. Eat it now. You dare me? Yeah. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Everybody try one. Okay. What if I don't like it? Can you spray it? Oh, you'll like it. Okay, I'll spray it out. They are good. Yeah. All right, so, Jacob? They are, they are delicious. Actually, one. they are good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so first what we're going to do is we're going to harvest the uh, butternut squash because I have way too many. Okay. <laughs> Big boy. And I'm going to leave as much of the stem as I can so they last longer. All right, don't cut it all the way down. Just leave as much as you can, two, maybe three inches or longer if, if available. Okay, now how do you know when a squash is ready? When a butternut squash turns uh, tan and the skin is hard, then it's ready. Yeah, I may need two buckets. A white, they call them winter because they last four or five months. All right, let me see. Four or five months and they won't spoil, Debbie. So how long till the next batch grows or is that it for the season? Till next and year? I think we're getting close, yeah. I okay. Think this plant will die here in the next couple of weeks by my acorn squash. Record that, uh, Jacob. See, it's it's dying. There's only a uh, a few baby squash up here. Yeah. Look. Hard to believe, right, Debbie, that these will last for the winter. There you go, Sammy. There you go, Jacob. Show show who's behind the camera. There you go. Okay, let me grab, oh, Debbie, you can take some uh, cucumbers mm -hmm. home too tomorrow. Or <laughs> Thank you. You have a yeah. tomato one, is that a, uh, what, what, um, I think, uh, I don't know what to, what to the do groundhog that. ate it. We do have a groundhog around here, and that's when I saw that yesterday, That the, that's when I decided to go ahead and harvest all the tomatoes today. So I'm going to leave that there. In case he comes back, he doesn't. So maybe he'll just stay for with that. For yeah. That one. So he ate another one. Uh, he or she ate another one on the other side. There you go. This is how many acorn or butternut squash I have. So yeah, I might need a, a, another bucket. So, but the idea today was to come here and grab all the tomatoes before the groundhog eats them. So. I gotta say, um, this is a beautiful garden. This yeah, it's, it's big, and next year I'm gonna make it big. even bigger. Acorn squash. This wow. is my. This is the second one I harvest. Because the other one, Maria and I made a video a few days ago um, on how to prepare acorn squash. So I'm just gonna grab a, one more, but then. I'm gonna go get another bucket because this one it's you already. Want me to run in? Do it's you know already. What you want to... All right, so notice that whatever came through, and that was probably the groundhog, ate this tomato and another tomato over there. When they get ripe, they come out. So 
let's grab all the tomatoes that are ripe right now and bring them in. Maria oh, uses these can, for I salsas. I can carry some of them. No, that's right. They'll fit oh. there. They'll fit. If they don't, uh, Debbie, I'll, I'll give you some. These are these are aromas that Maria uses for sauces. And I like these big ones, the celebrities. So which ones did she use for the tomato soup she made for the boys the other day? All of them. All these? Yeah, she used she both, both types. Soup. That soup was good. Hopefully she'll make it again today or tomorrow. Yeah, but she, she was talking about it. I yeah. Love it with grilled cheese. All right. There you go. So we're going to have tomato soups or what have you for the next few days. All right. Hold it still. Hold it still. Yeah, right here, Jacob. All right. This is... Yeah, the uh, these are celebrities, Debbie. Yeah. They're cool. And they are pretty big. I like They're these. They're gorgeous tomatoes. Yeah. Another celebrity. And I'm going to take this one too. This one's not quite red, but it's good enough. Either I take it or the groundhog takes it. What's in that? Yeah. And this is some kind of cabbage. Ooh. What's in that? Right? Yeah. This is a red cabbage and some animal, probably the groundhog, was eating it on the side. But he hasn't touched the others. So, yeah, I may have to let that Why go. Why does he just eat a little bit and leave? I don't know. They like to eat a little bit of everything. Or just steal it. Alright guys, so this bucket is full. And I still have to get the cucumbers. And we have... Here you go, Debbie. Oh, oh, you wanted me to cut that? Yeah. Oh. No, just hold on to that. They're ready. There we go. And I think... I... Oh, this one. Look at this one. They're huge, and I have more. Looks like there's one. Yeah. Where? Behind there, or is it too small? Uh, it might be a too small. Maybe in about two or three days, I'll, I'll pick that. There's a few more. Yeah, there's a few more back here, but they're smaller. But yeah. And I'm going to have to come back and get the cherry tomatoes later. Oh, and these are potatoes, by the way. Look, a baby potato. Look, baby potato. Yeah, look at that. What is that? Wow. Potato, yeah. Oh, I didn't know you were growing potatoes, too. Yeah, yeah. Check it out. Are I'm... these red potatoes? Yep. Oh, oh, look. Wow. Look, guys. Come here. Look. These potatoes are ready. So when the pl plants die off like this, that means that the potatoes are ready to harvest. Wow. So I'm going to... Yeah, the, the ground is very soft here. The soil. But you want to put your hands in here, Sammy? <laughs> but look, 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 look. If I, oh look, a worm. I need those. Eat it. Those are beneficial. So if I put my hands in there, look, I will dig up more potatoes. This is the first year ever, Debbie, that I. This I've, is the first time actually. Yeah, growing potatoes. Uh, but my, this is the first batch? Yep. Oh, it's wow. the first ever. So look at that. Actually, I'm going to put them here. Wow, I, it looks like I'm gonna be growing potatoes every year. I like this. Some are small, cool. yeah, some, that's some are small, some are big. It's like when you buy them, they're different sizes. Yeah, but this is a nice potato harvest. And this is a, a cloth bag. Look at that, it's nice, huh? Now I can use this bag I love and the soil, potatoes. yeah, to grow something else. I think that's it. Look how soft this soil is. So will that be kind of it for the season or? Yeah, for this year, that'll be it. I can't, it's too late in the season to grow uh, potatoes now. That was it. Oh, there's one more. I want to make sure I grab them all. Look how soft this soil is. Ah, oh, it's perfect. And potatoes came in good. I think I had three plants in here. 
yeah it's easier with both hands and this most this soil is mostly compost and peat moss so it's super easy to work with there's a little bit of you know native soil here too I mixed it all up a few months ago yeah but we're good and these are the potatoes right here that we harvested off of this bag some small some big and in a couple of days oh I can even see the potatoes on that one starting to show you see this bag over here Debbie you see the potatoes on the surface I do yeah check it out this is almost ready so when this plant dies off and these plants die off I'll come in here and oh look <laughs> right on the surface is that the worm no that was another small oh, potato another small potato so in about a week I'll come in and I'll harvest all the, the rest of the potatoes because I think I have garlic here let's see if I have garlic oh. nah my garlic didn't come out didn't do too well all right so I'm gonna have to figure this one out don't know what happened it's tiny but this is kind of like a, a learning thing yeah they're very small don't know what happened so next year I'm gonna have to figure the garlic out that's the only thing that I was not able to harvest this year and I only use one bag this bag right here because we all want garlic right <laughs> yeah that's okay it's only one bag so how many hours a day does the sun shine on this about pretty much all day or? I'm gonna say all day um, 10 12 hours at and, least and the garden needs that yeah. many that much yeah. time especially for vegetables and fruits and stuff like that the I'm more sun the better flowers, I guess yeah the fruits some flowers are part sun parts uh, part shade but cool. now for vegetables it's best to have a full day of sun what do you think your sure. first your first oh, yeah. garden oh, yeah. in um, New York right oh, yeah. yeah my first do you have a name for your this area no not yet however Debbie right there I want to expand I'm going to build in the next couple of months I'm going to build two more beds like this one yeah. over here well, we'll be able to ride a bike there. yeah well we're going to find a different path Wait, and what's so how much longer I don't know until the, those well I pop. think another maybe two weeks and I'll okay. be able to harvest these that looks kind of like a light lighter green and this looks like a very deep dark green so I don't know I may be able to harvest it now all right so we have cucumbers that's a full bucket yeah full bucket so you have squash and lots of tomatoes now these baby tomatoes or what do you call them the sun sugar tomatoes we're gonna come and grab later we can't fit anything else. 